Okay, so guys, welcome back sa ating YouTube channel. It's been a while. Namiss ko po kayong lahat. So, this time po, pag-aaralan natin ang Boolean expression and if-else statement po natin. So, before po tayo mag-start, um, kung hindi ka pa subscriber ng ating YouTube channel, subscribe nyo naman ako sa, ating, sa aking YouTube channel. So, ayan po, nasa baba lang po yan, yung red... Na, uh, yung red na bell po dyan, or sorry, yung red na button po dyan, hit nyo na rin yung um, bell para po lagi po kayo na notify sa ating YouTube channel po. So, let's start. Well, what is Boolean expressions in Java? Well, in Java, according to our source, in Java, the Boolean keyword is a primitive data type. It is used to store only two possible values. It's either true or false. It specifies one bit of information and its size can't be defined precisely. The Boolean keyword is used with variables and methods. Its default value is false. It is generally associated with conditional statement. Po. So that is the Boolean expression. So, ano po bang sinusupport ng Java natin? Or what... Uh, what does our Java supports in usual logical condition from, from mathematics? Well? So, Java supports less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, equal to, and lastly, not equal to. So, yan po yung uh, different logical condition po na, sin na sinusuportahan po ng ating Java. So, ano po yung different Java conditional statement natin? Or ano po yung different Java conditions po natin? So, meron po tayong tinatawag na if statement, else statement, else if statement, nested if, and lastly switch po. So, ngayong araw na po na to, if, if, else, and else if po yung pag-aaralan natin. So, let's start po muna kay if condition natin. Ayan. So, if condition or Java if statement. The Java if statement tests the condition. It executes the if block if the condition is true. So, sa madaling salita guys, um, yung, Java, yung Java if po natin, so, nagraran lang po siya once na yung condition po natin sa ating Java is true po. So, let me show you kung paano po siya gawin. So, let's say, halimbawa, since nasa quarantine period po tayo, let's say na halimbawa, ang um, pwede lang, and ECQ or MECQ ngayon, ang pwede lang lumabas is 18, below, uh, 18 above. Then, 17 below, bawal lumabas. So, first, we have to identify, identify? <laughs> Joke lang. So, First, we have to identify, so, ano po yung ating data type in Java? So, ano po yung gagamitin natin na data type sa Java? So, of course, when we are talking about age, probably it is a number. So, since number po siya, ang gagamitin po natin na data pipe, data pipe, <laughs> data type is integer po. So, int, then, gaga, maglalagay po tayo ng unique, uh, name sa kanya. So, let's say age na lang yung unique name natin sa kanya. After that po, so, after that po, um, we have to, of course, uh, have a unique number na gagamitin natin. Let's say, gusto natin malaman kung 18 o 17 below yung age niya. Tapos, hindi siya pwedeng lumabas. Yan. So, let's say 15. So, the first step na gagawin po natin is if condition. So, if, then bracket lang po. After the bracket, so after the bracket po, kung ano po yung pinangalan po natin sa, na unique name sa ating data type or sa ating integer, yun po ilalagay po muna natin. So, let's say age. Then, again, 17 below, bawal lumabas. So, ang lalagay po natin is less than 18. So, less than 18. After that, curly braces po. 
Then system that out that print ln bawal lumabas. Ayan. So that ends our ah uh, that ends our program sa if statement natin. Once po na rin nan po natin si program. Ayan. So lalabas po dito yung word na bawal lumabas po. So bakit? So bakit sir Ken? Kasi po guys, in-identify natin na si program natin or itong si age natin. Once na, so once na 17 below siya, so 17 below, 17 below siya, so hindi po siya tatanggap ng, so hindi po siya tatanggap ng, um, or bawal lumabas. So, yun. Nakalimutan ko sa sabihin ko. So, once na 17 below siya, hindi po siya tatanggap or magiging true yung statement natin. So, paano na na-identify na true yung statement po natin? So, first is the age. Linagay po natin dito, age less than 18. So, kung i-convert po natin sa age po natin, ang equivalent po na linagay natin is 15. So, 15 less than 18 is true. So, therefore, magkakaroon po siya ng output. Again po, si if statement po natin, so, if, si if statement po natin is nag-provide po siya ng output once po na true po yung condition natin. So, pag false po yung condition natin, saka lang po siya hindi nag-provide ng output po. So, that is our um, that is our if statement po. So, I hope uh, everything is clear dito sa if statement natin. Next naman natin is si if else statement or yung tinatawag po natin na else statement. Well, the Java else or the Java if else statement also tests the condition. It executes the if block if the condition is true. Otherwise, else block is executed. So, ito naman pong si else natin. Siya po yung parang uh, option po natin. So, plan B natin kung paano mag-execute ng program natin. So, for example po, let's say, halimbawa naman po, uh, 18 above na siya, so pwede na po siya lumabas. By the way guys, papakita ko po muna sa inyo, pag halimbawa, linagay ko dito, ginawa kong value ni age natin is 18. So, of course, 18 greater than, uh, less than, sorry, 18 less than 18 is false na po. So, pag false yung condition natin guys, hindi po siya magpo-provide ng output po. But once, na naglagay po tayo ng else condition po natin, so once po na naglagay tayo ng else condition natin, let's say system.out.println, uh, ay, pwede ka na pala lumabas yan. Parang lakas mga kimchi nung, <laughs> lakas mga kimchi nung dating. Ayan. So, pag pinara natin, 18 above po, pwede na pong lumabas po. So, 19, 20, and so on, and so forth po. So, so yun po yung nagagawa ng ating um, if-else po. So, again, si if condition po natin, ang ina-execute niya lang po, is lahat po ng true. So, once po na hindi po true yung condition natin, so, once po na hindi true yung condition natin, ang next na po i-execute is si else po natin. Kung baga si else po natin, para nagiging siya si plan B natin. Okay? So, I hope everything is clear po dito sa part na to. Punta na po agad tayo sa last part. So, the else if statement. So, the else if statement is used uh, use the else if statement to specify a new condition if the first condition is false po. So, paano ba natin ginagamit tong si else if condition natin? So, halimbawa, gusto natin ma-identify kung morning na ba, so kung morning na ba, evening, afternoon, and so on po. So, halimbawa, ganun naman yung gusto natin ma-identify. So, let's say in time. So, in time po natin. Again, meron tayong uh, integer. So, since data type po na ang 
data type na ginamit natin is integer since po time yung pinag-uusapan natin. So, let's say it is um, 10 o'clock. Let's say it is 10 o'clock. So, if statement po muna natin. So, time. Or kung ano yung pinangalan po natin dyan. So, time. Then, after that, so we can consider na yung 10 o'clock po is morning. So, system that out that print ln. Good morning. And then, pwede po tayong gumamit ng else statement po natin. So, meaning hanggang uh, pag pinaran natin siya. Ayan. So, pag pinaran natin si program natin. Mm -hmm. So, 10, sorry. So, pag pinaran natin si program natin. Sorry, guys. Mali yung binigay kong output. So, good morning. So, simula 9 hanggang, um, sorry, 11 natin is considered siya as morning natin. Ohio. Then, after that, pwede po tayo mag-else po. So, else naman. Or else if natin. Then, time. So, ito. Uh, meron din po siyang condition na sinusunod. Let's say, gusto naman po nating i-identify pagka po good day. So, 20. So, alam naman natin yung military time. So, instead of using 1 p.m., they use 13, 14, 15, and so on and so forth. Then, after that po, system that out, let print ln po. Let's say, good day. Ayan. Or, good afternoon. Ayan. So, pag linagay po natin is 12, it is considered na po as good afternoon. So, 15, it is considered as good afternoon. Hanggang 19. Or, sorry. Uh, if 19 is evening na po. So, ilagay lang natin is 18. So, lagay lang natin na value is 18. Yan. So, good afternoon. Now, if ever naman, halimbawa, nagkaroon na ng um, 19 above or 18 above po. So, magiging false na yung condition niya. Ngayon, ang kailangan naman natin gamitin is si else po natin. So, si else po natin, siya po yung final option po natin. So, si good evening. So, meaning po, once po na linagay ko po dito is 18, ang kinoconsider nyo na po is evening na po siya. So, ganun po gumagana ang ating, so ganun po gumagana ang ating if, else, if, and else condition po natin. Ngayon, what if naman po gusto nating palabasin si positive, negative, and si zero po. So, paano naman natin gagawin yon? So, first is, again, integer po ulit, yung data type na gagamitin natin. So, int number, or int num na lang, is equal to, let's say, 13. So, the first thing na gagawin po natin is, kailangan natin ma-identify kung positive o negative muna yung number natin. So, gagawin lang po natin, if, if condition, then num is uh, greater than 0. Then, system.out.println, and system.out.println, it is positive. So, bakit, guys? Because 13, because 13 uh, greater than 0, is it a true condition? Obviously, it is a true condition po. So, mas mataas ang value ni 13 kesa sa 0 po natin. So, that's why it is positive po. Now, paano naman po natin ma-identify ma kung siya ay negative? So, else po or else if. Then, after that po, num 
less than 0. So, alam naman po natin na pag po doon sa number line, mas mataas po si um, 0 kesa po sa negative po natin. So, pag dating na negative, pabupunta muna siya sa 0, then magiging positive. So, alam naman po natin yun sa ating mga mathematics subject probably. So, system that out that print ln negative. Or gawin natin all caps that negative. Ayan. So, after that po, so magkakaroon lang tayo ng L statement. System that out that print ln zero. So, ito naman po yung nag indicates pag po halimbawa zero yung ginawa nating sample. So, let's say gawin kong negative itong um, sample po natin. Ayan. Automatic, ang nalilid niya po is negative na. So, hindi niya na, uh, dinidisregard niya na po yung laman ni if kasi obviously false yung condition. Then, si else if naman po natin, um, puma, uh, naging true yung condition niya. So, halimbawa, um, if, halimbawa, kay if, condi if condition natin, um, hindi pasok yung criteria or hindi pasok yung condition, magja-jump siya kay else if natin. So, kay else if natin, pasok yung condition niya or naging true yung condition niya, that's why nag-provide siya ng output na negative. Now, if halimbawa naman, zero po yung linagay po natin dito, obviously, uh, magiging false yung statement or magiging false yung condition ni if natin, pati ni else if natin. That's why, so since magiging false yung condition po, ang ipaprovide po na output is si zero po. And that's how if, else, if, and else work po. So I hope um, you learned something in just a minute. So that's it po. And thank you. Have a nice day po.